So on the 6th of April 2022, my dumb little brain decided to make a very impulsive tweet. 5k subs and I'll add an epic boss fight to my game and allow you guys to test it. What was I thinking? Now at that point in time, I was at around 4,000 subscribers and I didn't really expect to... Hey bro, check this out. My god! Okay, it's happening! Tell him to bring me my money. Really, nigga? Well, we hit 5k subs. <laughs> I want to delete that tweet right now. Stop right there, criminal scum. Psst. Also, make sure to follow my Twitter for more impulsive tweets. Link in the description. So the first thing I needed for the boss fight was an actual boss. And the bosses tend to get pretty big. For this, I first needed a reference picture for modeling. So I picked up my pencil and my sketchbook and drew probably the most disproportionate person ever. Like, what the <laughs> fuck even is this? Yeah, I don't think I'll be drawing again anytime soon. So I scoured the internet for a good picture that I could use for the boss and found some really questionable images. But what the hell, boy? After like two years, I finally settled for the fucking golem from Clash of Clans. Yeah. You do be kind of chunky, though. Just like your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Someone please laugh at that joke, it's funny, right? No. Now, as I had that, I brought it into Blender and started off with a simple low poly model. Then I posted it into my Discord server and got fucking roasted. <laughs> Now, I wasn't gonna take that roast, so I got back to modeling, and a few hours later, I had this massive guy who looked like he wanted to murder me in my sleep. Hello there. He had long ass arms and tiny ass legs. Someone skipped like they, goddamn. Well, anyways, he looks close enough to my original reference pic, but when compared to my first model, the difference was like night and day. Yeah, fuck you, Bangonga. Don't ever try roasting me again. When I imported it to studio, it looked like this. Sheesh. So then I got to scripting and scripted quite a complex pathfinding script that made the golem chase the closest player and boom, now I had a T-posing golem running you down. Fast as fuck, boy. Police! Help! You think you can run away from me, mere mortal? Bruh. Now when he got out of his vicinity, it kinda just stood there T-posing and staring you down menacingly. So I gave it a default path that it would take when there was no players near it and this is how it looked. Now when I left this vicinity, I went back towards the tree and when I re-entered its vicinity, it started chasing me again. Well, the only problem with this code is that the golem is kinda stupid and he kept getting stuck in places that it shouldn't. Having a bit of trouble, Mr. Golem? Oh my god, stop bro, I'm stuck! Now fixing this was quite simple, or so I thought. All I had to do is change up the code a bit, and this stopped the golem from getting stuck at obstacles. But it prompted a new problem. Whenever I went to a higher surface like here, the golem kinda just started getting a seizure. Help me! Yeah, just amazing. So I switched back to the older code where the golem is just borderline stupid and did some more coding and it was finally done. Now even though the golem somewhat worked, right now it kinda just t-posed all the time. Yeah. So it was time to add some animations, yay! As you can tell, I was definitely very excited to do this. Not really. So I went back to Blender and followed along with a rigging tutorial and failed horribly. Woo, look at this. Yeah, this rig is completely fine. Nothing to worry about. Alright, let me see if I can make this dab. Seven hours later. Alright, never mind. I give up. What the fuck is this? So then I decided, fuck Blender animation. Me and my homies use Roblox Animator. And the thought of that turned my face from this to this. Because I fucking despise animating. And that is when I found these really nice animations by a person in my server called Ender. So I decided to message him. Hey Ender, I've seen some of your animations and I really happen to like them. Would you like to become my new animator? Best regards, Sudi. Alright, bet. 10k Robux per month and I'll become your new animator. Okay, listen here, bud. You either become my animator for free or you see that white van outside your house right now? That van is gonna kidnap your whole family when they're asleep. What did you say, Nick? Please, no. Yeah, <laughs> boy. And just like that, after losing two whole animators in the past, I finally have a new animator. Yay! RIP to my old animators, though. <laughs> You'll be missed. Anyways, he made me new golem animations, including three hit animations. An idle animation, a walk animation, and a run animation. Not only did he make me the golem animations, he also redid my sword animations, running animation, walking animation, idle animation, and many more. Thank you, Ender. Very cool. Now that I had the hit animations for the golem, I was able to code it so that now, instead of just ramming into me, it would actually hit me when he was close to me. Sing, 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 sing. And I don't think that's meant to be happening. What the fuck? 
Now at this point you might be asking that Sudi, didn't you say in your previous devlogs that this game was about Chainsaw Man? Since when is there a Bruh. fucking golem in Chainsaw Man? Have you been reading the wrong manga again? No, no, no guys, calm down. I just decided to make my own storyline instead of following along with Chainsaw Man. Do I know how I'm gonna make my own storyline? Absolutely not. But now I get to add whatever I want to the game, yay. We don't care. Let me tell you. Anyways, after I had the boss fight finally somewhat working, I got to work on a new map for the boss fight. But before I could do that. Eat your mangoes, kids. Okay, back to map making now. I wanted to make this map quite big, so I first started off by scaling it out and making some proportions, and then added some terrain on the edge of the map so that the player doesn't fall down. Then I got to house making and made these three different kinds of houses. You might remember this house that I tried making in a previous live vlog and failed horribly. I tried remaking that same house and it actually turned out pretty well this time. Then I give the houses different interiors and place them all around the map along with different pathways for the player to walk on. After that, I added some greenery to fill out the empty areas along with these stairways to be able to get up with these amazing looking gates that I also modeled myself. Then I modeled the holy mango tree which had this leaf falling effect to make it look even cooler. And I also added a statue of myself in the village because my drip is maxi. Okay, not gonna lie, I do look like a fucking middle-aged pedo in my character. After that, I modeled a shrine and added it up here. Added rain using the rain plugin for the aesthetics. Then I added some benches on the side, as well as some lampposts, and just like that, the new map was done. that's it for this video i know i said in the tweet that i'd let you guys try it out but right now there's just way too many bugs for it to be playable now it's time for some gameplay i played with my friend anastw99 make sure to go sub to his channel it will be linked in the description hello guys welcome back to another video with mr mango seed come come, mango. come let's let's spawn the bus fast as fuck bro i'm fast as fuck boy on it. Bruh. oh shit i don't i, I don't think that's going to happen help me why okay, is he on the ground bro Oh shit, he's here, he's, he's here, he's here. Bye, have a great time. Shit, shit. What's going on? Alright. I hit it, I hit it. Bro, it's a 670. Shit. It's You're gonna die. Two chungus. Oh. You're yeah. gonna die. It's chasing you now. No, it's chasing me now. Fuck. Fight it for the content. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Fight for the content. Fight for the content. Fight for the content. Fight for the content. Oh, oh uh, did he die? Bruh. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead, bro. What the fuck? I'm back the brain dead. It's not doing anything. Uh, it's just stuck. That's that's amazing. Sing, 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 Kill it. sing. Ah yes. Bro. Did you do it? What the fuck? Oh, it's staring it... into my soul. Come, 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 come. We need to beat this. There's out. a glitch. There's a glitch. I found oh the, shit! I found glitch. It put me under the map. What the hell? And that's come. And that's help. <laughs> and that's help me. Shit! It's only hitting bro. you. It can't hit me. Oh no! <laughs> and that's useless cock. What the hell? My character is stuck on the fuck. Whoa! What the hell? I got flung into the air. I got right, yeeted into space. I got yeeted into space. <laughs> okay, wait. Let's go exploring the map. Uh, okay. So first, guys, you go here. Super dash. Look at the interior. Oh, chef's kiss, bro. Let's have some tea together, yeah? Yes. For what one wait, no. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? And then after you go to the teapot place. Oh, you super dash. All the way here to the statue, okay, and then now statue? you go hills to the two. Yes. Yeah. More green. What pillows. the hell? Why are they in the house? <laughs> <laughs> Even more green dildos. Past the green dildo house, there are more houses. There's this apartment with a hole. That is a door. Mm. And in there is absolutely nothing. It is raining, as you can see. Uh, the weather is as bad as Sidipto's hairline. There it is. There it is. What? Our Lord and Savior, Bob yeah. Marley, doing T pose. <laughs> um, go subscribe to AnastiW99 on YouTube. Um, thank you, thank you. Also sub to me, otherwise you're um, otherwise no mangoes for you. Ten